Hello you guys, welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Now as you can see by the title, this is another ASMR video, which I really do enjoy making. And it's going to be just a little review of the thrifted items I got today. I absolutely love thrifting. It is such a peaceful thing to just pick through. I put in my YouTube videos, put my headphones in. I go right when it opens, so barely anyone's in there. The true thrifters are in there. And I just take my time. I peruse my aisles. I go to the jewelry. Then I probably, I go over to the books. And then I venture over to the shoes and the purses, and then I go into the clothing. So that's kind of how I map out my route when I go into the thrift store. So today I went, I was really not looking for anything in particular. I was looking for shirts, um, some t-shirts because it's really hot out here. So I did get a few shirts. I'm not going to show those today. Um, and I got a skirt. I also got a jean skirt and uh, a dress, just something breezy you can throw on and go about your day. And um, the jewelry pieces I got, just so pleased with them, so, so pleased with them. I always think about uh, with vintage jewelry, the person who owned it before me we have a similar taste, and I'm like, oh, I think we could be friends, huh? But, um, yeah, so let me show you my first item. At this thrift store, I am able to find so many coach bags for whatever reason. I love coach. I happen to think that whoever the creative director is, as of now, who has rebranded them phenomenally, um, brava. <laughs> Brava, like if you go on their site, you're, you're gonna find something that you like, you're gonna find multiple things that you like. And coach is quality when I'm finding these bags, they are in good shape. So, this is the third coach bag that I have found at this thrift store. So, you see, here it has the classic coach pattern here with the miniature seeds and the brown leather. None of the leather is cracked. As you can see, it's a near perfect condition, literally. The hardware here, perfectly shiny, no scuffs. All the way down. And it's a crossbody bag, so you can see here the strap is very long and is in a very, very good condition. No cracking whatsoever. Then we have the side bag. Even here in the lining, there's no wear and tear. There's no staining. There's not even an odor, you guys. Just perfection. It's like it was here waiting for me. Now, I did pay $50 for this bag, but it's a coach bag that I'm going to have literally forever. I'm going to get so much wear out of it. $50 is a lot less than what I would have paid in store for it. It is in near perfect condition. The size is wonderful. I can fit so much stuff in here. And the sides, uh, the side body wear of it just takes it over the top for me because I love not having to have something on my shoulder. So it has the labeling in here. I can kind of pull it up. Coach label right there for you to see. But I was so proud of this purchase and this find today. I was like, oh my god, I have to have this perfect freaking condition. Turn it over. It even has this flap back here that you can put stuff in. Perfect condition, you guys. Is that not crazy? So that was my first find. I was like, that's what I knew. It was going to be a very successful thrift day. 
Okay, so the next find is a little less practical for me, but stunning nonetheless. It is a knockoff, which I'm very aware of, but I've had a few knockoffs in my lifetime. I've gone to Canal Street with my mom, gone through the back doors, behind the walls, and done all of that, those fun things. So I'm not, you know, perturbed or, you know, sh if I don't shy away from a knockoff, but this bag, in my opinion, is in very good condition. It's unique, and I feel like in the fall, especially, it's going to pop, so let me just share it. You see, it says DNG Dolce and Gabbana. Kind of has this faux crocodile pattern here and these buckles. Such a good condition. The gold hardware. No scuffs, no marks, no rusting. It's just so good. And then the gold trim. Oh, it's fucking divine. It's divine. I love it so much. And then this pattern here is so soft. Let me try to bring it up to the camera. Sorry, one moment. Look at that. Soft. Kind of like, reminds me of a darker uh, zebra pattern fur. But it's so very cute. And you see the handles with the faux crocodile, patent leather type of material. You turn it over. So cute. Look at this. I like, I cannot stand it. And as you can see, this is only like 15 bucks. So I was like, I can do that. I'm going to get so much wear out of this bag. Just as like a fun little addition to any outfit. There is a little mark here. Oh, that's not even a mark. Okay. So, in perfect condition. Legit. And then what I like about this bag is there's the zipper and the side. Open it here. It goes deep, you guys. It goes oh there's a seat in here, but it goes so deep. And as you can see, the lining is in fairly good condition. You see there's no label on the inside, so this is a knockoff indeed. It does have little pockets for you to put things in to organize. And then you can also get it on this side, right here. And then they also have it on the opposite side here. So there's three little zipper compartments. Oh, I just fucking love it. But I do see this receipt. And this is how old this purse is from. And I'm not going to say the person's name, because this is a bank receipt. But it is a bank receipt from 5-5-2014. Crazy. Ten years ago. 5-5, Cinco de Mayo, 2014. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to cover the name. John Hopkins Credit Union. And this sister from Baltimore, she had $1,600 in her bank account when she withdrew. She had, she withdrew, no, she put in money. She had 500, put in two, put in seven. She had a balance of $1,600. That's pretty good. In today's day and age, that's pretty good. And then we have to shop, stop and shopping thing. <laughs> she got some pork loin, <laughs> some more meat, and Sugar Hill black something. She paid five twenty five for two items back in two thousand. 24. So I just thought that was so cool that I literally have the name of the person who owned this bag before me. Very, very cool. But I'm excited to wear this bag this summer. It's 
just so gorgeous to me. Yes, even with it being a knockoff, it is so, 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 such a vibe. And I can style the fuck out of it, so don't you worry, I'll put it to good use. And before I meant I wanted to wear it for the fall and the summer. Honestly, I feel like I could go both ways with it, depending on the outfit, but we'll see. I'm very excited to style it nonetheless. But let's get me to the jewelry pieces I got. And today, for whatever reason, typically I find a lot of good earrings. Today, I found necklaces. I didn't find that one earring that I was really vibing with, but I found quite a few necklaces and they need to be cleaned before I can wear them. So I thought I could share them with you and then I can go ahead and clean them, get them brushed up. This is just some soapy water here. And so let's look at the first one. So this is honest, well, this is the first one that caught my eye when I was in the store. Look at this, the beading, the iridescent stone. I love the layered style of it. It has the kind of boho vibe. So it's giving me beads, and yet you get this chain here. But I love the combination, the color scheme of the seed beads, along with the kind of, uh, what would you call it? Kind of, it looks like this iridescent opal. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. So super pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. This was about five dollars. The clasp, very sturdy. Always love when you can choose your length. In the necklace, so I'm gonna go ahead put this in here. So it's silk for a little bit. I'm loving the earthy tones, it's perfect for the fall coming up. Making bubbles over here, and then I'm just gonna take this brush here. away any residue because I mean my goodness these thrift stores we don't know how many hands are on these items so before you want to put these especially the jewelry up against your skin it'd be best to make sure it's cleaned just taking that extra Obviously, that's where a lot of people put their hands and they try to put it on. I love when jewelry have like extra little details, like on the chain here. It has this little triangle charm right there, kind of hanging off. Just to give them the extra little something. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied with that. Just a gorgeous piece. That's all clear. I'm gonna set it over here. So then the next one. 
this one, very simple, classic, just a silver chain, you know? Which is a need, just a simple silver chain. You can throw in a black shirt, a white shirt, dress it up, dress it down. You can even add a charm on here. Gives it a little grunge look as well. Looks badass. So I wonder if it's sterling silver. I'm not sure. But it feels weighty. The pegging marks are scuffy. No sticky joints. Sometimes with chains, if they're really old, the uh, it'll be sticky. The chains together, but in between. But this has none of that. So this lasts about four hours. I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this as well. I probably will end up adding some type of charm to this and or wearing it on its own, honestly. I can wear both of these. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good clean as well. to think in the store I probably would have paid. That's what I always think about. Yes, have the thrift store prices gone up? Absolutely. Goodwill has lost their effing mind. I completely agree with the prices that they have. So astronomical. And it didn't used to be that way, but these people who are in charge of these companies, they get money hungry. Goodwill is supposed to be where people who had less than can go and find decent clothing and materials and now it's like they're getting priced out as well. It's kind of a mess. But you see here it's gorgeous. And it's kind of shorter so it's gonna give it like that kind of maybe almost choker look to it, which I think is especially edgy and badass. So I just can't wait to rock this as well. It's so cute. And I like this big uh, clasp here. I really like that. You rarely see the clasp that big. Just adds to the look. Okay, so that was the second one. So the third one I got and this one kind of took me back and gave me like early 2000s vibes with the big statement necklaces that we would always be wearing. But I feel like it has like an upgraded, elevated look. It's more modern with these flat beads. And then the color schemes with like the light purple, the blush, the rose, I really think makes it a more elevated, layered necklace look where it's not just, you know, the bulky beads hanging around your neck. It actually has some depth to it. Makes it a little more dynamic. The flat beads I think are stunning. I think this is such a pretty, pretty necklace. And again, I feel like with all of these pieces, uh, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. Absolutely gorgeous. This one was about six dollars. So take that off. Some more paper came off. And see this necklace too has it on the chain. But just like the little added little statement here at the end on the clasp. I love when designers do that for their pieces. It just adds a little something for it. So absolutely stunning. I love the color scheme. I think it's going to work very pretty on my skin. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get her to watch.
Nothing else you also wash your jewelry when you get them from the thrift store. Is it just me being paranoid? <laughs> I just feel like I don't know how many hands have been on it, you know? And before I put it up against my skin, I just want to make sure. And then last, but certainly not least, this is my favorite piece. And when I saw it, it didn't have a price on it. I had to go to the lady and have her put a price on it. I thought it was going to be priced a lot higher than what it was. So I was very grateful when she came over. This necklace here, I find it so unique. The pink glass. beads go through the center and then the I forget what you call these beads but they're very heavy it almost feels like metal but they're very heavy it's like a weighty necklace but I just think that this design was so cute and so she put a tag on and made it $3.99 so I was like okay thank you girl so I cut that off Z eyes. So cute. And then this one has the clasp where you twist. So I love this about being too cool. You just twist it. Sometimes if you have nails, it may be a little bit difficult to do it behind your back. But sometimes you just have to have patience, you know? But look how cute that is. I cannot wait to wear it. All these pieces will be in my daily rotation. So go ahead. Give it your sit for a second. very pleased with this find and everything that I got today. I'm just so grateful to the thrift gods for blessing me today because I really didn't go in expecting to find much. I didn't have anything on my mind. Well, it was a lie. Like I said, I had shirts on my mind, but to find all that I found, I just feel like these pieces were absolutely made for me, and I was so happy to take them. <laughs> Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can get this back with my wet hands. the last piece that I got today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed me sharing with you all the pieces that I got today. See you guys in another video. I hope you enjoyed it.